Hello, welcome to Dee and Dory. I'm Dory and this is my sister Dee. And we are here today to do a little chit chatting. Yeah, we're gonna share some fantastic sewing finds we found. Yeah, and some real deals at a thrift, thrift store. Yeah, and um, a little bit about what we've been doing. So. Yes, yeah, what we've been up to yeah. lately. <laughs> And first, we do the inspirational thing. Yes. I've, have we done one from Albert Einstein before? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Albert Einstein said this now. He was born in 1879, died in 1955 at the age of 76. He had a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm. Well, that'll do you on. Yeah. Eight years earlier, he had been, this aneurysm had been reinforced surgically eight years earlier. Okay. But then he, you know, succumbed to it in the end. He was a theoretical physicist. And here's the saying, logic will take you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, so we haven't used that saying from him. No, we haven't. Yeah. yeah I like cool. that, you know, because sometimes we have to get out of the logic thinking mm -hmm. <laughs> because in sewing, there is a lot of imagination. Oh, yeah, and that's that you part, use. That's part of the fun of sewing. That's is, the creativity. Yes, of, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. You like that one? I do. I like that one. Okay, so we stopped at a thrift store today. First, first we went to. Um, we had been invited mm -hmm. um, with a group of other women to tour a mansion it's called the felt mansion mm -hmm. the physical address in holland michigan and oh is it holland yeah i thought it was just it was like sagatuck but yeah it's, the physical it's, address is holland yeah okay. but it's closer to sagatuck oh okay yeah but anyhow we had decided on the way home we had a nice little tour and luncheon uh that we we're gonna stop at the thrift store so a couple of them were closed so that we yeah, I thought would be open, but we did find one, and we each bought something. Yeah, and that's we what did. we're going to share yes, we did. some sewing things we bought from there. Yes, yep. And then I also have some patterns I got from Simplicity.com. Do you want to see them now? Sure. So they they have this special um, free shipping. Oh, on any size order. Okay. So uh, then they had their. Their uh, vote patterns for five dollars. Okay. Certain ones. Certain ones. They were clear, clearing them out. Yeah. So I found three, and I thought, okay, I can pay five dollars if there's no shipping. Mm -hmm. You know. And so there wasn't. So I love this one. V one six nine three. Oh, that's very old looking. Isn't that old style? And so, <laughs> an old style. Yeah. Oh, at least if they, it's easier to see that. One of our viewers said, "Take out that." Show us the line. Although the long, long line drawings are not so great here as they are on the back of the pattern. You see more detail, I think, on the back. Yeah, you do. But I, isn't that cute? It's adorable. Yeah. So this pattern takes novelty shears, lace, georgette. It has lining, charmeuse, crepe de chaine. And um, it is average, but I still think it's something I could do. Oh, you probably could. I could do that. Because you'd be so excited about making it. You yeah, to... I just love it. Yeah. So that's one of them that I got. Another one is um, a skirt and a crop top. Cropped top. At least they're not calling it, but I am calling it crop top. They're calling it Mrs. Top and Skirt. Close fitting top. Above waist has cat sleeves. This is Vogue 1486. And this is another average one. Hmm. which I find interesting. Is it lined? Uh, skirt has lined waistband and side pockets. So it's not lined entirely. Yeah. So B, which is the skirt, is moderate knits. Yeah, go ahead and grab that. Oh, the drawing. The drawings. Do you see the drawings? So the, some take stretch, B takes moderate stretch knits. I think that's interesting. Double knits, scuba knits, bonded knits. So B is the skirt. The both of the skirt and the the top has exposed zippers. Okay, dokey. Oh, look at the cutout of that. The look skirt? at look at the layout on the fabric. Woo! For the skirt. Yeah. Interesting, huh? 
The skirt was fascinating to me. I, I liked it. It has some detail to it. But every once in a while, I, I think I would like to have a shorter top. I think. But Well, I know I do now now that my rib cage is almost to my hip bones. <laughs> so I, I don't know. You know, like I'm thinking sometimes I, I wish I had a shorter top to wear something with. But then I always want to color, cover my stomach, so just just depends. Oh, yeah, you got that factor, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of... So okay. you got to use your imagination, like Einstein said. This next one you can show them is 1843. Here's the pack. Oh, I like that. That's cute. This reminds me of a uh, Marcy Tilton one. Yeah, it does. Yes. And this is another average one. It's a dress and tunic with set in shirred sleeves, side panel. Dress has a twisted cuff neck. In contrast, so it's for two-way stretch knits. Yeah, I would do that all in one design. They've got it like color blocked. Or yeah, whatever. and you don't have to color block it. I mean, just because it says. Yeah, I like the dress. Yeah, yeah, it's cute. It has that little. I like that on the bottom. It has a little elastic on the bottom. I've made a couple dresses with elastic. You on have, the and this is average also. Yeah, Wait, you're just getting so brave here. <laughs> I can do average. A Vogue average. Yeah. So those are the three Vogues I got from Simplicity.com. Free shipping. Nice. Five dollars each. Nice. So, Very nice. Yeah. yeah. I, I like Vogue a lot. Anyway, so shall we see the, what you got at the um, thrift shop? Oh, okay. It was interesting because they, they had fabric there. Their sewing section um, in... Um, Store in tubs, yeah. storage tubs. Oh, I don't didn't know you got that. That's yeah, cool. and I haven't opened it up yet to see. Oh, so you don't know how much large yard there is? Two dollars. I haven't opened it yet. It's but they, openers, mine's all washed. <laughs> yeah, not right. ironed, but washed. So longer. we'll see. I I know this is like a net. It's like a, a terry net, but it or not a terry. Heavens to Betsy. Um, it's like a. Uh, Jersey knit, that's what I want to say, like t-shirt fabric. But it's got a little bit of heft to it. A little oh. bit, yeah. So, let's let's see here. We're going to open this up. Oh, and it's been cut. Oh, let's see here. Oh, yep. Yeah. So, see, you never know. That's why when you, you know, I only paid $2. So, this is one part of it, like that. But... It's quite a bit here, though. There's quite a bit here. I mean, even with that little bit cut off. So I think I have a good, good yard. <laughs> I think I have a good yard that's not oh, cut. Oh, yeah. And then so. you know, I could get sleeves oh, or, yeah. you know, I have enough here. There's two yards, a little bit cut off the. I can't see what's going on in the camera. Yeah, just a little. You can yeah, see there's a little about, section there. About uh, six to eight inches. Cut off of maybe, it's not quite a yard, but that's, or is that about no, a yard? No, no, that's not a yard. Not quite? Not quite. Maybe, yeah. yeah. So, but the rest of it, so for $2, hey, you know, yeah. I'll launder it up and uh, see how it goes. I'm sure it's going to, it'll. This would make a cute top. Yeah, it would make a cute top. Uh, what does it that say? say? <laughs> Gate Lord? I don't know. Is that what that says? It says that's the Lord on the end, isn't it? Yeah. Is it Ed? Jeez. Something. I don't know. We can't read it. Can't can't read the writing. Can't read it. Yep. See? I'll show you. Yeah, there's nothing else. We'll see if we can show you. That's all it says right there. So anyway, that's what this is. So this will be nice. Yeah. I could if I wonder if I have enough there even to make a nice summer little t shirt dress. Oh, that would be mind. cute. Wouldn't that be cute? Mm -hmm. So I got this for two dollars. That's not bad. No, that's good. Good price. Good price. So um, and it smells. You can still smell. I mean, it smells clean and new. <laughs> I was gonna say what? <laughs> and then this one here um, was five dollars, and it's still in the bolt. You can see that. This is. Oh. That's interfacing? Yes. yes. Fusible interfacing for apparel. Wow. Basics. And we use a ton of that. Yeah. You and, and yeah, anybody who sews knows you just go through this like crazy. So the only um, caveat that there might be, and I haven't tried this, and, and 
is once I had gotten some fusible interfacing somewhere on a thrift and uh, it was so old, the, the, oh, it, it wouldn't, wouldn't melt. It wouldn't melt? It wouldn't Did you melt. try even at a higher temperature? Yeah, I did. So I'm well, hoping you can use it as sew-in interfacing. I could. Yeah. So anyway, I'll see how this goes. I'm thinking that this is, will be fine. That's a ton of it. There's a ton wow. of it here. Yeah, I'm really. Wow. Yeah, I'm really happy that I found this. And this was, you know, $5. $5 for all of this, which was well worth it. It was worth a try to see yeah. how this is going to go. I think it'll be fine because the dots are quite you can pronounced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think it'll be fine. Nice. So anyway, those that's what my find was uh, regarding sewing and thrifting there. Oh. So, so that was it. I just had the two items, but you know, that's what you do. You, you don't always need a ton of stuff. Well, I have a ton of stuff from over the years. But, <laughs> well, I found some fabric there too. What'd you find? So this is 61 by one and three quarter yards, and I paid $2 for it. And it's a stretch. It is. But it's it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's like a jersey too. It's yeah. only it's yeah, very nice. It looks yeah. like you. It doesn't it? I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, we did a wardrobe challenge not too long ago and I made some slacks I think that this top might go with. I mean this I haven't made a top. This fabric <laughs> might go with She's thinking top. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but there's two there's one and three quarters yards. Yeah, so probably a top. And I like gray too, so yeah, yeah. Nice. So I like the design, the medallions in it. Yeah, yeah. See that? I like the purple. Yeah, yeah. I like Very nice stretch. I think that is this a two way, four way stretch? I don't think so. Yes. Yeah, you have to go bit. according to the bias. Okay, the straight like this. Mm -hmm. Well, you got just a little this way, mm -hmm. this way a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, it's got some nice stretch that way. Yeah. So there's that one. It is washed. It was folded. <laughs> Not anymore. No, because I will oh yeah. Yeah, you measure you you'll fold it up a certain yeah. way. <laughs> Just don't want to. Excuse me. And then I bought this for two dollars also, and this is a forty four inch by two and a half yards. So there's more yardage as far as length. Well yeah, there's more yardage to this one. And this is just a tie dye. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It agree. could be quilting material, or it could have been. Yeah, yeah. Probably was quilting fabric. But, yeah. Uh, I know people. We I I've used, used quilting fabric quite a bit. I can see a skirt out of that. Yeah, well, I can. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. That's very nice. Very, very so nice. So there was one more piece I got there. Oh, did you get that there? Yes. That it's, is a ton. Look at look at is. this. <laughs> Go ahead and show them. Look at this. It's like a ton of fabric. It's 10 yards. Oh, my word. I paid $3 for it. Yeah, it's Cranston Print Works Company, and it says it's a screen print. Anyway, there's a, you can see the design. So there's 10 yards of it. 10 yards. It's 43 inches. 10 yards for $3, so that's 30 cents a yard. Wow. And uh, it's a little bit wrinkly because I, I laundered it and I haven't done anything else to it. But, oh. um, so with this here fabric, there's a couple of things. I could use it for a backing on a quilt because I have mom's quilt tops. So I could use it as a backing. I could use this for, I have a pattern that calls for like eight yards of fabric. So this would work. If it would go with the pattern, what kind of pattern is it to remember or not? Something uh, that calls for a lot of fabric. Yes. <laughs> so and I think it was cotton fabric. Okay. Use. And the other thing is, uh, every once in a while, we will do something where we both use the same fabric. Oh, yeah, that's true. So that's another option. Since I have right. 10 yards, we could split five yards each and make see what we come up with. Would you ever wear this color, though? It, it has that purple in it again. I don't know how close it would get to is see it. Is it purple or is mm -hmm. it burgundy? Well, yeah, right. Purple or burgundy. But, yeah. Yeah. I think it's cute. Interesting. But, oh, I know what kind of little cute top that would make. I was trying to think. Uh, of 10 yards? Fabric. Well, no, it wouldn't take 10 yards. But it does have big poofy sleeves. Yeah. See? There you go. There you go. Anyhow, I think we did some 
Yeah, that's Great fantastic thrifting. finds. It took us a minute to find a thrift store in that and on the way home. Yes. Yeah, in the particular area. But um, like Dory said, the first couple we went to that Google said was there wasn't there. Yeah. And then uh, we found this other one and we just kind of popped in there to see if we could find anything in the sport. Yeah. All right, now. So, um, would you like to see a few pictures? We have 14 pictures we'd like to share of the Felt Mansion that we toured. Yes. It's a really cool place. One thing I liked about it is <clears throat> that nothing was roped off. Yeah, the the person, oh, what did they call the person that decided to, to refurbish the place? I can't remember the appropriate term. Is it creator? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. But anyway, the person that um, orchestrated the um, uh, um, revival, now I can't think, revival, no, the, I don't know, restore restoration, restoration. <laughs> um, of the mansion said that one of the things was she did not want anything roped off in the mansion. Anyway, uh, it has a very interesting history to it, and the engineer ingenuity of um, Mr. Felt, who was an inventor. Yeah. You need to look that he up. Was so inventive. Yeah. He was extremely inventive in the thought process that went into uh, building this and just the way it was situated on the land for even down to the yeah. type of glass that he put into the building for health reasons. It was really, really interesting. Yeah, and this is that was actually uh, a sand dune, right? Yeah, he, he built it. Lake Michigan. It sits on Lake Michigan. You can't, at this point in time, see Lake Michigan from the home because um, he watched the sand dunes. If, if anybody is aware, the sand moves, mm -hmm. you know, with the wind and it moves with the water that gets on it. So he had seen sand dunes built and sand dunes gone away and sand dunes moving all over on the shore of Lake Michigan. And so um, he moved it, not on the first layer of sand dunes, but he moved it back where the land was more stable because, you know, you don't want to build a house and then have the, the land underneath it be taken away. So anyway, um, it's very interesting. Yeah. So let's show them some. Yeah. It's, it's just a kind of a real quick little taste of what, what it is. So this is the front of the mansion. Yes. The entrance, the main entrance, the main right? entrance. Yep. And it's beautiful. And it continues to be restored. There's areas that they're always working on. So. Yeah. This, yeah, this is the, the dining room for guests or when all of the family got together. Right. When it, when it was as their home, they, if they had guests, they would eat here. Yeah. And if you notice way in the far back of the picture, you can see a Mario painted, and this Mario was painted all the way around the room and actually was painted overseas and he had it imported and to put on the walls. And then this one? Yeah, this was just a small little dining room if there was just, I thought, so the whole family would have been, what was it, three girls? And, and two um, boys, a couple of boys, wasn't oh, there? Oh, I can't remember everything now. Yeah. So anyway, this is the, the dining room or the breakfast room where, you know, if a couple of people were eating a meal, that's where they would eat. This and Dory, of course, liking her china. Uh-huh, go ahead. So this is um, one of the, every bedroom had it, its, its own, own bathroom. Yeah, its own ensuite, yeah. And so um, some of it was influenced by Art Deco. Right. And so this is one of them. Yes. That was influenced by the Art Deco. And this is one of the daughters' bedroom, uh, bathrooms. Bathrooms. And this was a bedroom, one of the daughters. Mm -hmm. This was his bedroom, right? Yeah, Mr. Uh, Felt, Felt's yeah. bedroom. Uh, what's his first name, Dor? Dor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, if you look closely in the, in the far, in the wardrobe, mirror, if you see Delilah. <laughs> CD. <laughs> CD. CD. <laughs> 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 so this is just um some picture of the um woodwork woodwork that was restored yeah and this is the library mm -hmm. which was all original to this room was all original some some most of the house has a lot of the original yeah to it like 
when you're looking at the bedrooms and you see the wallpaper and the paint color, they made an effort to get down to the original, but of course it's not original itself because, you know, through the years it got right. more or painted over or whatever. So, but they did try to stay true to the original colors and uh, wallpaper. Yeah. So. And oh, so in this library, they had some of the old magazines. This is a good housekeeping from uh, 1937 and I just flipped it open and I saw this fashion page and I was like, oh yeah, I love this. Look at all the hats. Oh yeah, it says for town and country, spring and summer. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, and they're all wearing heels. Yeah, those days are gone, but the hats I can still do. You get a hat you can do. And do you still have gloves on too? Gloves yeah, I still hats? think we should wear gloves. I, I think it would help I with germs. I love it. That's me. This is one of the sitting rooms, right? Yep. And um, if you look very closely to the back in these cases, you'll see one of his inventions. Yeah, yeah. It was the first computerized adding machine. Well, it was calculator. A, yeah, calculator, not computerized. It was. They called it CompuMaster or something. Yeah, time. the first commercial that could use. Before then, they used paper and pencil and so. But he created, he had a lot of inventions. Oh, so. man, he was really a smart man. There's another sitting room. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see the fireplace, right? Yeah. I think we have a close-up. Here's a... There's another one. Is that That's that the same one? fireplace, Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, I really loved the wallpaper in that room. I think we got a... Did we put in a picture we closer? We did Oh, okay. No. So, but the wallpaper was beautiful. And, and that's from the back side? Of the house? Of the house. Yeah. Well, it's the front of the house as you're coming in. The back side's the other side. Or no, you're right. This is the back side. You come up the back side. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right. And then I just wanted to put a quick picture of the fountain, the uh, garden. Water garden. Water garden. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Huge, too. So that's just a snapshot of it. I mean, because it, all the bedrooms, we, we went through all the bedrooms. We went through the entire thing. Yeah. And then there's a the carriage house. Yep. You the know? servants' quarters and the house, and there was a ballroom yes. upstairs. Yeah, they had to add the ballroom afterwards because he remembered the the uh, fire in Chicago. He wanted his house to be fireproof. So they're eight inch thick cement walls. The architecture, all every room is a, can be encased. Um, and cement and so then they as an afterthought they said oh we need to have a ballroom well they had all the walls poured and it's like we can't put in an entryway anywhere except for through the servants quarters and so yeah that's what they did so that was a nice a nice thing to do i think it was a nice afternoon it was a nice afternoon yeah. it was wonderful yeah it's nice to see uh detailed in architecture that way so yeah so, and yeah. to learn about the history of it so yeah so you can look him up google's got him your felt <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we hope you enjoyed this little episode of D and Dory. <laughs> and don't forget that logic will get you from A to B. That's true, but imagination will take you everywhere. You never know where you'll end up. Imagination is wonderful. It gives you creativity. It does. Are we done? Uh, we're done. I have nothing more to say. Okay, we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Have a, have a wonderful day. week. Happy thrifting, happy sewing. Enjoy the summer. See you next time. Bye. Oh, don't forget to hit subscribe. Yeah, like, or... forward, thumbs up. <laughs> if you comment. <laughs> I want to say bye. Okay. Bye. bye.